Hey guys, uh, Kenny Wisdom here. Going to do a quick Victory Road. Um, for those of you who don't know, Victory Road is kind of an idea that Jeremy had for the channel in which all of the members who are playing competitively during the season do little tournament reports and kind of update everyone on their road to 500 points. So we're going to... Um, Jeremy's the only one who's on one now. I think I'm going up second. Um, Mike, Newman, Harrison will probably do some. Um, just kind of a quick way to keep everyone entertained and uh, update on what we're doing. Um, I personally will not be playing too many tournaments this year. I'm kind of taking the year off to do coverage, as you've hopefully seen. But I will be making some victory roads when I randomly play in an event, or just kind of have anything to say about the format. Um, so for this League Challenge, I don't know when this video is going up. I'm not the one who handles the YouTube business, but I played in the League Challenge uh, some number of weeks ago, depending on when you see this video. Um, my good friend, Tyler Nomura, was... Uh, was uh, kind enough to give me a ride and let me deck and all that. And I ended up playing Hover Toxin, which is um, Dustin Zimmerman's world's deck. It's a um, Dark Rai Garbodor um, deck that focuses heavily on Sableye. Um, by the time you see this, I might actually have a video up of it um, as a battle tower on the chat on the YouTube channel. But if not, it's just basically a control. It's a, one of the few control decks Pokemon really has. It's a uh, Dark Rai Garbodor Sableye, and you focus on just junk hunting. <clears throat> excuse me, for hammers and lasers and just kind of controlling the game with Sableye until you get to a point where they have no resources and you can attack by the Dark Ray. Um, the video that I'm going to have up uh, pretty soon has a list I played, but it was pretty standard. It was basically Dustin's World's List um, with a few small changes here and there. Um, so the tournament started off and we had five rounds. The lead challenge, um, I have a few comments on lead challenges that I'll talk about after the video, but um, when I went up against a Blastoise player, um, I didn't know, know who he was, um, which is usually a, a good sign, uh, when I'm playing against someone, and he just drew dead. I, I felt bad. I mean, I, I got the Garbodor up early, but he started with a Keldeo, I think, and just, no, he's so sorry, he started with a Curum, one of the Plasma Curums that usually doesn't see play, the EX. Um, I just didn't have anything. Drops the Keldeo, I have the Garbodor, it doesn't matter, I'm just hammering away So I don't even get that good at a setup, but I'm just hammering away when he touches one energy turn, which is not what he wants to do. I'm lasering him to death, I just, uh, it was just bad. At a certain point, he, I didn't really have much, and he obviously had nothing, and he just kept drawing and passing, drawing and passing, getting visibly frustrated, which is completely fair. And, um... So I realized after a few turns, I have to get this, and I'm like, okay, well, like, he hasn't been playing Pokemon, he hasn't been playing supporters, like, his hand has to be all energy, um, or all trainers. So I get this, I mean, I'm already so ahead, so it's the best support I can play, and he reveals a hand that I think is, like, candy, 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 max potion, super rod, or something, and, like, something just dead cards, and so, um, I draw five cards, he has zero cards in hand, and... That's how the game. Uh, that's how the game goes from there. Um, in round two, I played against a Frisian uh, Genesect deck with Bouffalon. I didn't see any Mewtwo's, but uh, um, there's definitely one or two Bouffalons in there. Um, the games went. The games went pretty normal. Um, I got ahead early. I got the early Garbodor and started hammering off his stuff. Um, he managed to tie the game up in the mid game. I, I believe I. Uh, struggled to draw energy a little bit, um, which after he started knocking my, knocking out my Sable Eyes hurt me because I couldn't play, I couldn't attack with Dark Eyes. Um, and so the game gets to a point where it's 1-1 one, one prizes. I oh, know, sorry, it's, uh, I have two prizes left. He has one prize left. Um, my board is like Dark Eyes, Sable Eye, and some stuff. His board is Bufflon active. I have the garbage with you, obviously. Uh, his board is Bufflon active. Mime on the bench and something else. And um, he has a. Sorry, so I, I, I take a prize. I got into two prizes. He thinks for a second he has a Bufflon with 90 on it. He thinks for a second, promotes the Bufflon, draws and passes. He's just drawing poorly. Um, I have, So then I promote Sableye, um, draw a card, and then I laser him. And, uh, and then I jump around for two catchers. And I do this because 
the the laser will um, not get his bouffant, which he didn't understand. And the catchers, I, I mean, I'm gonna get giant two back, and then I have uh, two coin flips to get one heads and then um, knight spear the mission my on his bench. Um, so I play the laser. And I junk hunt and I go take a prize. And he's like, oh, and also I have a, I have a graph energy attached. And I was like, well, I have Garbodor. So I don't think I don't think there's much he could have done in that position. And then he went and uh, did something. And then I, I think he just, I, I think he actually end me. And I know, sorry, he end me and then I drew a Juniper, I think. And then I drew, I drew the catcher and got, got it. But um, yeah, I don't think there's much he could have done in that Buffalo position. I think that he made the correct play. I, don't, I mean, I think... It was fine, but that's one of the things I love about Garbodor. Excuse me, is that um, the ability to just like surprise your opponents like that. Like he said, he just clearly didn't know that that was going to happen. Um, the next two rounds, I conceded to my friends. Um, I faced Tyler in round three, and Tyler is uh, Tyler and more. For those you don't know, he's the best player in Washington State. He's the best player in the Northwest. He's multiple world invite invites, three-time world champion. Um, and he, more importantly for the situation, he was the he um, gave me a ride and let me my deck. So I'm just I know that there's kind of some contention about scooping, but I'm not going to I'm not going to beat my friend who I'm not going to beat my friend in a spot where a he gave me the deck, b he gave me a ride to the tournament, and c I don't care about the tournament. Like I I ended up spoiler I ended up getting fourth and I just gave my prizes away um, to the juniors who missed prizes because I, I didn't care like I don't if I'm not getting points I don't like booster packs and scythers and whatever just aren't worth it to me so moral of the story I'm just not going to scoop to my friend when I have nothing to earn from it or I'm not going to sorry I'm not going to beat my friend when I have anything to earn from it um round four I played Rico Connor who is the father of the current senior national champion Calvin Connor um and again I conceded same situation as before Rico didn't lend me the deck mind you but um I have nothing to win, really, so I didn't care. So now I'm 2-2, two, two, and although I have nothing to win, I still care about um, doing well, and I still care, still care about playing well, so playing at round 5, I know that if I win, I can, um, I'll be 3rd or 4th, I'll walk up to the top 4 slot. Um, so, playing against a Plasma deck, it was pretty unorthodox Plasma, though he was playing um, Lugia's and the Tornadus, the Plasma Tornadus, that does damage, uh, more damage for each Plasma you have on it. Um, not that he, either of those cards, like, I think Lugia is very good and the Tornadus is bad, but I don't think the Tornadus is so bad that it ruins your whole deck, but I think that when you put those two cards together, I think that you, uh, have a lot of energy-hungry Pokemon, and you're probably cutting consistency somewhere. Um, so we're playing, and my opponent just draws dead, uh, I think, I, I think on turn one or two, he, uh, call races for two, and then just kind of doesn't, doesn't draw out of it, um, and then a, a funny thing which is going to lead me into my discussion about lead challenges is at a certain point during the game, I think it was the middle of the game, I think I was winning but it wasn't completely over yet, um, my opponent looks at me and he's like, don't you play any ends? And I looked at him and I was like, well, I mean, I do, but I'm not going to play them when you have one card in hand. Like, I, I just didn't understand what he was saying. Like, I just don't understand why you would ask him on that. And he's like, uh, you need to stop taking the game so seriously. Like, you know, it's just a game, right? And, like, at that point, I just don't reply. Like, I I, uh, I try to be a nice guy in tournaments, and I could, do consider myself a nice person, especially at tournaments, but I, I mean, not going to reply to being insulted. And But m more than anything, so the moral of the story, I beat my opponent, I ended up getting third, give, or fourth, gave him my prizes, it didn't matter. But um, the, the interesting thing in that situation, I don't blame my opponent at all, He's clearly frustrated. He was a newish player or a more casual player. I think the fault with that situation lies in Pokemon itself. Lead challenges are replacing Battle Roads. And Battle Roads for the past couple of years have been very important tournaments. And I don't think that because of the way that lead challenges are structured, wherein they're on the same day as your league and a lot of them are free and the prizes aren't that high uh, as far as physical prizes. Championship, the, the, the championship points do matter, but the physical prizes aren't that much. They're, they're scythers and then some TOs add packs. And I don't think, I think there's a disconnect between casual players who um, don't understand that it's still a tournament. Like, if, 
if it had been any other year for me when I wasn't um, taking a break to do coverage, I would have like wanted to, I would have like focused everything into beating him, right? Like I, I wouldn't have it would it didn't matter to me this year, but it would have mattered to me every other year, and it mattered to almost every every other player in that room. And while it's not fair for him to put that on me and say like, oh, you shouldn't be playing even competitive, I think again the problem lies in Pokemon not separating these events enough. I think that there needs to be an event for competitive players that's not just League. I think there needs to be um, Leagues, and I think there needs to be League Challenges, which are tournaments that that are on the same day as Leagues, are optional, and only have packs or cards as prizes, no championship points. And then I think a leap up from that needs to be Battle Roads, which are what we now know as League Challenges, and then Cities and States and Regals can follow. I, I, I just think... I, mean, I don't know about your guys' area, but in my area, and let me know in the comments uh, if you guys have experienced this too. Lead challenges are very, very soft. Like, because they're, like, this lead challenge was on a Thursday at, uh, like, 7 p.m. or something, because they're on such random dates, um, not all the competitive players go to them. At Battle Roads, literally every competitive player in the state would be at every one. And I just think that, again, contributes to this whole people not understanding what they are. And I I just think, I've said for a long time, if you read any of my articles on Six Prizes or you're familiar with my social media, I've said for a long time that there needs to be kind of a middle ground event. And I think that Pokemon was trying to make that Willy Challenge and then kind of dropped the ball and did the opposite of what they intended. Um, I feel like I've kind of rambled on enough. If you want to talk about this more, leave a comment, um, message us on Facebook or YouTube and we'll talk it over. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll hopefully make another Victory Road whenever I play in a tournament or whenever I have anything else to say. Uh, let me guys let, let me know if you guys have any comments. Please go to topcutcentral.com and facebook.com slash OTB Pokemon. I love you. Good night.